Wisconsin, Wisconsin's Attorney General wants lawmakers to change the state constitution in an effort to better protect victims of crime. He's pushing a proposal that the legislature could take up this session. It is not easy to amend the constitution. So Pete Cervakis explains what it will take and why the AG thinks it's necessary. We need truly equal rights for Wisconsin's crime victims. And to get them, the state attorney general wants to change Wisconsin's constitution. A bill now being circulated for co-sponsors calls for lawmakers in two straight sessions to approve the change, then send it to voters as a constitutional amendment. Constitutional rights of a defendant always trump a statutory right. We, we create for victims. The proposal would add specific rights for crime victims to the state constitution. It would strengthen victims' rights to legal standing and the ability to be heard in court throughout the legal process. By making the victims' rights constitutional, they're more equal in the courtroom. Terry Jendusa Nikolai, who survived a brutal attack from her ex-husband 14 years ago, backs the proposal. 14 years later, I stand before you with an ex-husband in prison who was still trying to harass me. She says her attacker continues to appeal for custody of their kids. He can continue to do things like that because he has those constitutional rights. And what do I have? I sit back and I worry. Voters could be asked to weigh in on the proposed constitutional amendment as early as 2019. At 6th and Walnut, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. Now, the proposal is called Marcy's Law, named after Marcy Nicholas, a California woman who was killed by an ex-boyfriend in the early 1980s.